Hi friends, in this video, I want to show you how to draw double circulation in easy way, step by step. Then I am talking about how it's work. So let's begin this video. In the first step, drawing structure of heart. Here I am drawing U-shaped structure. End of these lines, drawing half circle like structure like this. Same to the left side. Inside this U-shaped structure, drawing two vertical lines. Now drawing chamber of right ventricle. This is the chamber of left ventricle. This is the chamber of right atrium. And this is the chamber of left atrium. Now drawing some valves. This is tricuspid valve. This is mitral valve. Now drawing pulmonary artery arising from right ventricle. Then drawing vessel of systemic aorta. Inside this vessel also drawing valves. This is pulmonary valve. This is aortic valve. Ok now we have to learn working of double circulation. Human heart is a 4 chamber, 2 atrium and 2 ventricles. This is right atrium, this is right ventricle, this is left atrium and this is left ventricle. This is pulmonary artery, this is pulmonary vein, this is systemic aorta and this is vena cava. This is blood capillaries of lung. And this is blood capillaries of body tissue. 
what exactly mean by the double circulation it means blood passes twice through the heart making complete one round through the body here you can see blood passes twice through the heart that means two circulation occur one is the pulmonary circulation and other one is the systemic circulation and these two circulation to form double circulation we have looked at the pulmonary circulation pulmonary circulation start from right ventricle right ventricle receive deoxygenated blood from right atrium once the right ventricle fills with the blood they contract forcing the pulmonary valves open and blood passes to the lung through pulmonary artery purification of blood occur in the lung that means lung got an air sac that is alveoli around this alveoli blood capillaries are formed exchange of gases takes place between alveoli and blood capillary that means deoxygenated blood contain more amount of carbon dioxide that is co2 molecule this co2 molecule enters into alveoli by diffusion process and finally exhale out of the body through nose now we breathe in that is inhalation process oxygen molecule comes into the lung by trachea then comes into alveoli and finally diffuses into blood capillary now blood become oxygenated this oxygenated blood comes into heart by pulmonary vein this is the pulmonary circulation now we look at the systemic circulation systemic circulation start from left ventricle left ventricle receive oxygenated blood from left atrium once the left ventricle fills with the blood they contract forcing the aortic valve open and blood pumping into the aorta and from there around the body this oxygenated blood passes different part of the body organ contain cells and cells use this oxygen to carrying some metabolic process and release carbon dioxide in the blood now blood become deoxygenated this deoxygenated blood comes into heart by vena cava this is the systemic circulation and cycle repeat continue i hope you guys enjoy this video please like comment share and subscribe